math, science, and of course, composting. Good morning, I'm Matt Sizemore, right in front of North Junior High in Boise's North End. And I visited a classroom today who's looking for your help in order to keep all their students learning about vermicomposting. At North Junior High in Boise, you'll find some interesting things growing in Ms. Lingar's seventh grade life science class, but don't worry, it's all planned. I like to teach science by doing science. So instead of just talking to kids about recycling or like nutrient rich soil or the different organisms that are around, if they could actually see it and feel it and touch it and be a part of it, I think that's super important. And she's not all talk as she's been teaching her students about a messy but important practice called vermicomposting. So vermicompost is using red wiggler worms to make compost. The worms will eat newspaper, egg cartons, food scraps, and then they turn it into really nutrient rich soil. And so we use that in class for the students to grow their own plants so they could see the whole life cycle from growing from a seed to the soil and recycling all in between. So gross. Though it's a process my three-year-old daughter might describe as, quote, yucky, Ms. Lingar's students are into it and are definitely learning. I never knew, like, they used just worms and food and, like, scraps of random stuff for it. The dirt, I never knew that worms eat the things that they eat, so I learned that. Like Marcus said, like, I didn't know that they ate, like, newspaper and egg cartons. And that, like, the worms that we're using are, like, the best for the, like, soil for our plants. And... Speaking of the plants, once you get past handling the slimy worms and fragrant homemade compost, it's the cherry on top. The seventh graders love growing their own plants. They're so proud of every day they come in, they're like, let's see how much our plants grow. So what goes in this bucket? Worms, eggs, food. In her nine years of vermicomposting with classroom after classroom of students, she's seen how something like earth-friendly gardening can interest today's youth when they start from the very beginning. It's fun to see them like still take care of something that historically some kids find rather boring. So they're just so proud and it makes like my little teacher heart happy. But her little science class could use your help. They're looking for things you're probably just throwing away. If anybody has newspapers laying around or egg cartons, we'll take them off your hands and feed them to our worms. <laughs> I think we need more stuff so we can get our worms to grow. You heard them. If you have old newspapers or egg cartons, bring them to North Junior High and say it's for Ms. Lingar's awesome science class. You'll be helping pave the way for a sustainable future and a happy classroom. I love this realizing that they're learning without them realizing they're learning because if they're not having fun i'm not having fun and i think that's the whole point of teaching science is them to learn to love science and just have the curiosity of what's going on around them in the north end and now fully educated on what vermicomposting is and how it can really help our environment i'm matt sizemore for idaho news six